So 210 Boxing TV here with Robert Garcia. So we got an announcement coming up. Uh, let us know about it. You know what? It's, it's something that we, we've been working on already for, for a few weeks. Uh, you know, since, since, since Josh became a free agent, uh, we got the release from Golden Boy. Uh, right away, there was a lot of interest. Uh, we got a lot of uh, different promoters that wanted to do something with them, but we got a big, big opportunity for this um, this fight that we, we were, we've been working on for a few weeks. It's uh, Josh against Ioka. Josh Franco. Uh, Josh Franco against Ioka for the unification uh, WBO and WBA, uh, December 31st in Tokyo, Japan. Big opportunity for, for Josh. Ioka is a great champion, great fighter. Uh, Three or four division champions, so it, you know it's, it's it's a very very good fight. But, uh, but I think Josh is hungry. You know he's waiting for this moment. You know he's been out for a year. You know uh, Golden Boy uh, wasn't able to put him on, 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 on any any fights for a whole year. But you know I think it's going to be a fight where he makes a statement and uh, people will see you know who he is and start recognizing his talent. And then after that fight, you know everything goes well. Then I'm pretty sure they'll be talking about him against. Uh, uh, Chupalatito or Gallo, whoever wins in December 3rd, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll be talking about those fights because it's, uh, you know, he'll be he'll be champion at two with two titles. Now you said December 3rd? December 3rd, well, December 3rd is, is Gallo versus Chupalatito. Okay. Uh, Josh, Josh versus Yoka is uh, December 31st. Oh, you're going to do New Year's Eve? Yeah, New Year's Eve. And, and y'all actually going to go in Japan? Yeah, in, in Tokyo, Japan. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, why take the risk of going over there in Japan? Because it's a fight that I know we could win, and it's a big opportunity. It's for another title. It's a unification, and what Josh needs right now, especially with all the champions on 115 fighting, his brother exploding the way he did, Josh needs a fight like this that man, to be motivated. Because I know that if we just try to bring him back slowly uh, against you know so and so, you know guys that don't mean nothing for him, I know he's not gonna get motivated. Especially knowing that his brother is is fighting on top cards, big cards, you know, with this one, it's going to be the main event, a unification fight, he's going to be more than motivated to go out there and win. Now, Josh Franco, he's coming off his best performance um, against Maloney, a year off, and damn, a unification fight. What, what did he say when you when you brought it up to him? I, <laughs> I, you know, like I said, you know, I know my fighters very well, especially those two brothers. I don't have... You know, I've, obviously, I, I I tell them, and I, I talk to I talk to to Jesse, the dad. The dad, yeah. To get and, everybody to sign off on the it. The dad right away, do it. You know, the dad knows it sounds better than anybody else, so he says do it because that's what my kids need. That's what Josh needs. You know, with with Bam, same thing. Just do it, Robert, because that's what he needs. He knows his kids, and I know what they want. I know what they need too. So you know, they believe in me. They trust me. So it was easy to to negotiate because I didn't have to deal with. I don't want to do it, you know, what if this, what if that. They're always okay with it. In a, in a perfect world, he because Ioka, I believe, is a pound. They have, some people have him on pound for pound list. In a perfect world, he can unify with Ioka and then hopefully get the winner of the Gallo Chocolatito fight. Uh, that would be my per perfect plan. You know, in a perfect world, that's the fight that I want. You know, we, obviously, we got to fight Ioka first. And if everything goes well, like I said, it's not an easy fight. But if we pull off the win, then of course I want to fight whoever wins between Gallo and uh, Chocolatito, 100%. Now, as I mentioned, um, do you feel like, uh, I talked to Josh and man, he's, he's, he's super excited. Uh, do you feel like, as I mentioned, this is the perfect moment? Because it seems like uh, some people forgot about how good Josh was. As you mentioned, Gallo, Chocolatito, and bam. That's why he needs this fight. That's why he needs this fight against Dioca. You know, uh, there, was, there was another name that they mentioned to me uh, uh, before, you know, hey, what if we fight him against uh, some kid here from LA, I think his last name is Ortiz, but he's like, like four eight. He's uh -huh. a short guy, like four eight, and uh, he only has like nine fights. I'm like, why are you mentioning that guy to me, man? I'm not gonna get Josh, a world champion. You know, his brother's fighting, you know, uh, Cuadras, and then Rung Versailles, and he's gonna go fight a guy that have that only has nine fights. Even though the guy's pretty good, I'm not. I'm not saying no, but but doesn't mean anything. I said no. I want something that means something for Josh. So this fight turned out. You know, they they call me about this fight. Fuck yeah, that's the fight we need for Josh. And then, as you mentioned, Bam's gonna go down to 112. Hopefully, get yes. uh, either Sonny Edwards or, or yes. Cesar Martinez or something yes. like that. Yes, that's the plan. You know, uh, Bam fights at 112. You know, he could stay in 112 for a few fights. In the meantime, Josh, you know does what he has to do at 115 because I don't want to mix them and, and bam, get 
get all the big fights because, you know, if we talk to Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn would probably rather do Bam versus Gallo Estrada or Chocolatito than, than, than Josh because he doesn't have Josh under contract. Yeah. So that so I'd rather do that to leave uh, 115 open for, for Josh.